Amidst all this chaos and turmoil, the situation in Manipur has escalated to a point where it has turned into a war between ethnic groups, burning in the name of power and land. The clashes have become violent to the extent that the government had to issue shoot at sight orders in the extreme cases. Hello everyone, I am Shivajit Ranshi and you are watching me on The Underline. The root of this conflict lies in the Mehdi's demand for the appearance in the list of ST categories for more reservation in government jobs and facilities. Another reason is the Land Reform Act which prohibits non-tribal, mostly Mehdi's, from building or buying property in the hill area of Manipur. For better understanding, we need to dive into the map of Manipur. You see, the state is filled by 90% of mountainous region and 10% of the land, in which 65% of Methis, also the largest community of the state, reside. And the vast hilly regions are occupied by tribals, which is just 35% in population. This has led to a tussle between Methis and the tribals, mainly comprising Cookies and Nagas. The, the Methi community is fighting for the existence of their culture, as more than half of their community lives in the valley of Infal, which is also the capital and has all the resources, better education and sustainability. On the other hand, the tribals and immigrants from Myanmar and Bangladesh are also flourishing in the capital, which makes the shortage of land an increase in price. The situation in Manipur is tense and it is high time that the government steps in to find a peaceful solution to this conflict before it spirals out of control. Although after invoking Article 355, the control has gone to the centre, but according to the Manipur administration, they were working adequately. Meanwhile, the headlines like Manipur is burning, what has spurred ethnic violence in India's Manipur, are firing in the air. The agitation is filled after the ban on poppy cultivation, directly influenced by tribals, mostly cookies, as they find it a threat to their ancestral land and revenue. State government destroyed 15-acre land of poppy cultivation in Kangpopi district and many more. Under the preventive method, government has landlocked the state for avoiding it becoming the golden triangle of drug production as Laos, Thailand and Myanmar. As per the reports, Manipur is flushed with heroin from 398km porous border with Myanmar, the world's second largest producer of opium. We often see narrations are created to brainwash the minds of people and ignite the fire in situations like this. As we know, the two sects Cookies and Naga follow Christianity, whereas Methi is the majority of Hindus. Keeping this fact in mind, the hate mongers self proclaimed as the torch bearer for the people of their practiced religion and played a victim card. Church Times, a UK based organization known for independent reporting of church and world news, claimed that 100 churches were vandalized, whereas no such data were drawn in media of this number. The article of this portal highlights the oppression of Christians around the world. In the entire scenario, temple, churches, shops and homes were destroyed. There is no targeting of specific religion. The organization also quoted lines like, The Open Doors partner said that the rally had been peacefully and the Christians have been heavily victimized in a flagrant display of violence, destruction and catastrophe. These organizations are trying to defame the image of India on international grounds by showing one part of the story. According to the army, approximately 10,000 cookies from the valley and 9,500 methis from the hills have been internally displaced. The numbers are almost likely the same, but propagandists never fail to grab the opportunity. News portals like The Guardian have also particularly reported about how many churches have been vandalized during the rites. A user posted a video of a man firing and claimed him as a man of cookie group who were attacking on methis. He later mocked upon the peaceful rally as well. In reality, the video was posted in June 2020 by a user in Mexico 
with the caption of war zone hence proving fake videos have become a vital weapon during info wars indian army has also warned for the widespread of fake news by reasoning with the escalation of violence in manipur the situation in manipur is not just a conflict between ethnic groups but also a game played by media outlets the root of this conflict lies in the demand of power and land but it has been fueled by propaganda and fake news in this chaos the innocent suffers and the media is trying to manipulate the situation to its advantage it's a sad reality that misinformation can cause such harm and we need to understand that each life lost is a human loss we need to put humanity first and find out a peaceful solution to this conflict what are your views on manipur riot if you have any preventive methods to stop it please write in the comment section given below thank you for watching the underline please like subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon